The components used in this project are sponsored by the DF Robot. DF Robot is a leading robotics and open source hardware provider. They create innovative, user-friendly hardware and software products that become the building blocks in all kinds of electronic projects. I personally recommend you should definitely visit www.dfrobot.com. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a home or office automation system using Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, MFRC 522 RFID Reader, 5.5-inch OLED HDMI touchscreen, RFID takes and a 3-channel relay module. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected 220 volt AC light bulbs, which of course you can replace with any other electrical loads which you want to control using the RFID takes. The whole system works perfectly. There is no false triggering and the load status is displayed on the 5.5 inch OLED capacitive touchscreen. The Raspberry Pi programming is done using the Tony IDE. This project can be easily modified. More relays can be connected which can be used to control the DC loads as well. This way you can make a smart home or office automation system. Today's episode is entirely based on my previous tutorial which covers the extreme basics like for example how to activate the SPI, how to download and install different packages for the MFRC522 RFID module, and how to write some basic Python scripts for reading the takes. I highly recommend you should definitely watch my previous tutorial. You can find link in the description. While everything is powered up, never touch the big side of the relay module as 220 volt AC can be really dangerous. I recommend you should wear protective gloves. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from DF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The 5.5 inch OLED touchscreen is powered up using the Raspberry Pi USB port. The LCD is connected with the HDMI port of the Raspberry Pi using the HDMI adapter. I have a very basic getting started tutorial in which you will learn how to connect a 5.5 inch HDMI OLED capacitive touchscreen LCD, Wi-Fi keyboard, mouse and a night vision camera with Raspberry Pi 3B+. This tutorial will help you with screen display resolution configuration. You can find link in the description. The MFRC522 RFID module connection with the Raspberry Pi is very simple. Pin number 1 of the Raspberry Pi which is the 3.3V pin is connected with the VCC pin of the MFRC522 RFID module. Pin number 6 is connected with the ground. Pin number 19 is connected with the MOSI pin of the RC522 RFID module. Pin number 21 of the Raspberry Pi is connected with the MISO pin of the RFID module. Pin number 22 is connected with the RST pin of the RFID module. Pin number 23 is connected with the SCK pin of the RFID module and pin number 24 of the Raspberry Pi is connected with the SDA pin of the MFRC 522 RFID module. The three channel relay module is connected with the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins 11, 12 and 13. The circuit diagram of the relay module used in this project is explained in the article available on my website. You can find a link in the description. This is a 3 channel relay module which is powered up using a 12 volt adapter. Three wires from the relay module are connected with the Raspberry Pi GPIO pins 11, 12 and 13 is already explained. 
Make sure you connect the relay module ground with the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi. After you are done with all the connections, the next step is to start the programming. I started off by creating a folder for my project files. Open the Tony Python IDE. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. Run this program. Write a name you want to assign to the RFID tag. Then hold the tag near the RFID reader. Repeat this for the remaining two tags. Now we will write another program for controlling the relays. This program can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. After I was done with the programming, I connected some LEDs with a Raspberry Pi and used the RFID takes to control these LEDs. After I was satisfied with the programming, then I connected the relay module to control 110 or 220 volt AC bulbs. 
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Thank you.